Hi everyone, in this video we are going to talk about dynamic translation. A dynamic translation helps you in a way where you can understand the language written in a particular ticket, written in a particular field of the ticket, which is not your native language and you cannot understand the language. For example, there is a short description field of the incident and a person from France created a ticket and you are the service desk agent working on that ticket but you don't understand French so you are not able to make it out what is written in the short description field. In that case with just a click of a button next to the field you can simply translate the language and see what its conversion is in your own language which is set as part of your user profile. So the first step is I am going to activate the dynamic translation plugin which you can see right in front of my screen and to establish this connection um, I can either integrate with IBM Watson uh, translator services or Microsoft or there are some other options also available outside but for this particular demo I am going to use Microsoft services so let me just navigate to the Azure portal to show you how things work. So this is my Azure portal and I am on the translators. Let's go to the home page. So on the home page you can simply type translator and then you will get certain options. You click and I clicked on the translator then I get an option to create it. I have already created a translator to save time but I'm just going to show you what all things you need to fill in so based on the subscription your organization wants to use you can either select a free trial or if you have already subscribed then there will be other options which will be available mine is a free trial that's why this is showing up then you can uh, create a new resource group or you can use an existing one I created this one for this demo that is why test dynamic is showing up then you need to select the region name and the pricing tier which will be whatever on the basis of your previous selections like free trial or something so let me show you by selecting an existing one and then region you can select as uh, let's say one of your region like for me it is Southeast Asia and then you can give a name to your translator uh, you can give a similar name here in the name field and then the option comes up for pricing tier just for testing purpose you can select the first one free FCU and accordingly you can move to your next screen uh, where there are not much options this is the main screen so we consider it so let me now just go back to my existing translator which i have already created so there are a couple of things which we need to use from this translator one of them being the keys and the second is the end point so we have two keys by default I can use any one of them so let me copy the first one for now and now I'm going to navigate back to my service now instance and I will create credential and aliases So here I am going to look for Microsoft Translation. So within Microsoft Translation I am going to add a connection. If there are none.
So this is completely read only because it is a Microsoft Azure Translator Service Book application. So in the connections, there are no connections yet. Let me click on new. Let's give it a name. Here I am going to add the connection URL, but first let's create a credential. I'm going to use API key credentials. And here I am going to paste the copied API key and let's click on submit. Now let's go back to the Azure portal and this is my endpoint which I'm going to paste here. And let's click on submit. Now we also need to make sure that Microsoft Translator configuration is active. So let's go to translator configurations. So as of now, there are three options available and all three are inactive by default. I'm going to click on edit. Let's activate this one. And let's click on update. So whatever changes I needed to do in Azure portal and service now are done now. Now let's navigate to an incident ticket and we'll see if we are getting an option over there or not. So this is one of the ticket which I just created right before this demo started and this is written in some language which even I can't understand so let's see how we can see what is the meaning of this text right click on the short description field configure dictionary Let's go to attributes, click on new and I'm going to select an attribute for the dynamic translation, dynamic translation enabled, set it to 2, submit. Default language for my user profile that is system administrators profile is English So the data will be converted into English language So you can see that I can see this icon Translate icon next to the short description field and if I click on translate now Here service now tries to communicate with the translator service in Azure portal. And you can see that whatever text was written over there is now converted into English language. So this is how we can make use of dynamic translation. Uh, this is, there is nothing custom in this. It is completely out of the box. In my next video, we will see how we can uh, make use of dynamic translation using custom scripts, detect the language, uh, copy text to uh, maybe a custom field and convert it into multiple other languages at the same time and so on.
So thank you for watching.